Hey everybody, got a new project here and what I'm doing, I'm making stairs, rope stairs for the back of the boat. So these will be that pole. I think there's a chicken or a cat or something on that roof there, that tin roof. Scared me a little bit. So what I'm doing, I'm making the stairs and these are the steps. And then I'm gonna have these, uh, and this is three fourths inch pipe, but I need uh, one half inch. So I've ordered that, but I don't have it yet. And I'm gonna weld these little guys on the end here, one here and one here, and likewise here. And here and then we'll run the rope through the, the pipe and tie a knot on the bottom of each one of these steps at stairs steps as it goes down so that's what I'm up to so right now I'm going to cut these guys I got a four foot piece here so I'm doing, going to do three steps I think that's plenty for each side so I got a four foot piece here and I got another four foot well I got a lot more at the welding shop so I got to go pick that up later but for now I'm going to uh, focus on this and making the first set of steps for one of the outer hulls because that's where we have steps on the back of the uh, hull and these will go in the water they'll tie onto the cleats uh, and if you've been following the videos you'll see where I mounted two cleats one on each side of the top uh, stair of the sugar scoops if you know catamaran and its stairs they're called sugar scoops and so um, I mounted uh, cleats two cleats one on each side so like if this was the one side I mounted a cleat here and on the other side I mounted a cleat here well I'll just loop the rope on there and loop the rope for the other side on there and then these stairs will just hang straight down into the ocean and then you can grab the rope and put your feet on there because as it is now the stairs about this high well if you're in the water you can't get your leg <laughs> up to your chest in order to step on that first you kind know, of step you're going to need other steps to make it easy to get in and and even if you want to get out of the boat i'll just jump in the water to get out but getting in the boat back in that's where you're going to need some some uh, stairs so and they'll just come off they'll just hook onto the cleats you know like i said one on each, each side you just un hook it roll it up and you know stuff it under the the bow of the boat or the back of the boat you know for storage when you're not you know swimming or diving or doing whatever you do out in the water where you'll need to come back in the boat at some point in time so there's my angle grinder and i'm going to go to town cutting this so i can't hold the camera and the angle grinder in this piece of stainless so i'm going to put the camera down i'm going to give it a cut and again, as I said before in my other video, the way you cut this, you just score it and you slowly score it back and forth until you cut through. You don't like start here and start cutting this whole thing with the blade going deep because if you just twist that blade slightly, it just shatters. All right, everybody, and we got it all cut. The other thing you want to do when you're done, you, you want to get all the slag off of here, those sharp razor edges. So I kind of angle grind on, on the edge here, all around the corners everything then also clean the inside because that's where the sharp stuff is in fact you can still feel a little bit of a sharp edge there i need to grind that inside because you put your finger in there that'll cut you like a razor so yeah so i finish all these so they're user friendly so these are three steps this is for one side here i don't have any more of this so i cut the next three but i left it at the welders so uh but he's going to order me some half inch pipe they got a place normally when you buy pipe or bar or anything here you have to buy a 20 foot length well you don't need a 20 foot length i only need eight feet of this but i had to buy a 20 foot piece but i'll figure out a use for this because i'm you know you know me i'll admit something <laughs> something else that the boat needs uh we also got some uh some some decorative uh one inch stainless tubing and it's got little fat spots and skinny spots you know like rings where it's kind of compressed down and then it goes bigger and it's just ring and ring well we're using that for our fishing nets our dip net and also for the gaff and also for paddles we're making stainless steel paddles if you can believe that so that'll be interesting to see too and i want to make them float and that I don't think you can do it with stainless steel. I mean, if it was a big enough box and you weld it all sealed and there's enough air volume in there, 
you, you know, I mean, they made concrete ships and they floated, so you can make a stainless steel box and it'll float. But I don't think these will float. Even if they we seal off the ends, I don't think one of these will float. It's just too heavy. Uh, but it'll have some buoyancy. Oh, also, as you see, we get 304 stainless. See right there, 304? That's, that's a marine grade stainless. So you have fewer worries about corrosion, rust, and all that stuff. See there, so you get the 304 for the marine use. 316 is good too. 316 is the next actually grade up from this, but this is, there's no iron in this. So hey everybody, go. I don't have my head cam on today, so we're gonna have to do more before and after shots. But what I'm doing, you know, these are the uh, steps, of course, and we're putting the little tube here and a tube here for the rope to go through. But we're going to cap these in so they're not o open. Nobody sticks a toe in there and gets it broken off. So we're going to put these little guys, and I can't touch them right now because they're still hot. I just cut these. But these little guys are going to go over, roll them over the end like that, like that, and cap the ends of these. So that is what I'm cutting now. Hey everybody, well I'm back and we've got two, <clears throat> well I've cut all these, they're cooled down now, so I've cut all these little things to go on the ends of here, to weld on the ends of the end caps basically, and uh, but you see they got all that stuff on them, so I gotta grind all that off, it's kind of sharp, try to keep this in focus. I got, so I got to clean up the ends, I got to clean up the long, one of the long slides, well, both ends typically, one long side. The other side is the edge of the... All uh, right, everybody, and I'm about halfway through grinding these guys, and I'm trying to pick up one that's not hot over here. This is my stack of done ones, and they're all kind of hot still. There we go. This one's not too hot. You can see I've smoothed everything out here. Not super smooth, but it's smooth enough, because i got to smooth it after it's welded, or the welding put a little bead on them too so they're off all the slag and stuff is off the sharp edges are pretty much gone and uh, so these are all my done so, ones and these other ones here I think what I'm going to do with these guys is I'm going to have my welder because these are the ones that are too small I'm going to have my welder weld me a couple of these like this like I said I'm going to use these for like a fish lure like an angle, like that, not in a straight line, but crooked like that, and then polish them up. I may put a third one on here too, that's crooked, also like that. And that'll make it kind of flutter as it goes down in the water. It'll see like that, kind of like up, down, up, down, and weld it like that. You have to. That's all. This fuzz is from a. This is from the buffing wheel. But I may have it welded like that. Put a hole at the top, a hole at the back, and a hole in the center. And put some hooks on here and use that for like a, uh, a jig. So that'd be pretty uh, interesting. And polish it all up, of course, so it's shiny like that. The next like thing that. we're working on is stairs. So what we've got here, we've got this little guy tied on here. This is our uh, cleat. we got cleats on both sides. This hangs down like that and those are going to be rope stairs this side of the rope here is going to go through here on this outside so there's going to be two ropes and then of course you see the two ropes here so they're, they're going to go through here and there and then there's going to be a third step because when you're in the water your neck or whatever's up to here or up to here and your body's way down there so the third step will be the right depth for somebody to be able to grab the rope here step on that and climb on all, all the way up to these steps into the boat and again there'll be another one of course on the cleat on that side same same song second verse and then the same on that other hole out there this hole center hole doesn't have steps because it doesn't have a back like this with stairs so we're building rope steps so we're going to be back with more i'm putting a washer on the bottom of these two so that these little I got thin stainless steel here, tubing, half inch or five eighths, whatever this is. And it's kind of thin and kind of sharp. So I didn't want to dig it into the knot, which is under it. So I'm putting these washers here to kind of block the sharp edge from the rope. Put these guys on there on the bottom of 
all these. And then we also take and mark on the knot here. We mark, of course you can't really see, but see the blue marker there where my thumb is pointing? Not this blue line that's on the rope, but the blue mar marker. That's how we measure. We mark these and then we tie the knot right at that mark. And you put the washer on and then the step on and voila. Yeehaw. Rope steps. And these are all sealed, by the way. They're not going to float or nothing, but all the welding here, all this TIG welding is all sealed on the end caps. And uh, so water shouldn't get in there or stay in there or slosh around in there. It should just be air. And it'll help with this buoyancy some, but not too much. Also, the other thing, this is a good reflector for when you have this down in the water. Uh, there's things called flashers that you put in the water to attract, you know, pelagic fish, tuna, uh, tanigi, which is like king mackerel, wahoo, dorado, all those people, things see that flashing of that uh, stainless steel and it attracts them. So if you're fishing, you can throw these out the back. Not that you want these tangled up in your line, <laughs> but you could. And or spear fishing, maybe that might be okay. But anyway, they're like flashers too. So we are going to keep tying some ropes and making the third step and then double that side and then repeat for that side, that one and that one. Voila. We'll be back with more rope steps for my paradise on Bentayan Island. Paradise out. Hey everybody. Bye for now. This is the first half or the first fourth. <laughs> yes, we got to do this three more times. Uh, tie the knots and ropes and everything for that side. And then of course for that side. But this is what it looks like right here. So that, my friends, is one half of the of the stairs. As we can climb in the back of the boat. It'll be easy for everybody to get, get, get in. We do a little loop on this thing to uh, snug it up so it doesn't try to come off. We can triple that or double that if we want somehow. And we can always move this knot anyway. All this stuff can be moved. So if something moves, we can just untie it and slide it back up if we need, need to. See, these are all of our blue marks. Here, see, that's a blue mark there, that's a blue mark there. So that's where we measured to uh, get them kind of level. So we're going to start off the other side, and we'll be back with more from my paradise on the tiny island. Yeehaw, we got a rope ladder. Bye for now. Ready? We're going to do a demonstration. Let my wife show you how this works. This is just one step, it's not all steps, but basically, to show them how that works. So grab the ropes, pull yourself up, step on the Go ahead and step on there. Voila, you're in the boat. Check it out, baby. That is how we do it. So, got to tie these other two. I'm out of rope, though. I'm going to have to get some more rope. I need to measure and see how long this is because I need this exact length again. We've only got about maybe a meter, two meter, meter and a half left excess from what I bought. I think I bought 10 meters. So, I need another 10. So we got to go to the store after this, and then we'll be back with more. So my paradise, I'm in Italian Island. Paradise out. Ready? We got a shot now. of the tarpaulin and the rope stairs. Look at that, all, all in one. Pretty fancy, huh? So these are the rope stairs here. So we got them all tied up, all checked out, and we're out of rope. So that's all we got left is this one little piece. So I got it. I can't do that other side yet. So, and what time is it? It is, well, it's only four. Thing about it is, we gotta go to Mandawi to get this white rope like this, because I like the white and blue, it matches the boat. The only thing downside to the white rope is it gets, it shows dirt, but hopefully we can wash it, you know, in the ocean, it'll be able to be kept clean and that. So anyway, here is our hook, oops, and it hangs down. Go ahead and let it hang down, honey. So this will be hanging down in the water. Go ahead and demonstrate stepping on the first, well, not that one, but yeah, that one. Grabbing the ropes, stepping up, and voila, you're in the boat. Boom. How about that? Can't get much fancier than that, can you? <laughs> no way. Okay. So we got to go get some rope. And see, before, when we had to climb up here, we had to step on the sawhorse and flip over the side and all kinds of stuff. But now we can just hook our little rope ladder on and easily climb right in and these guys here are 
anchored through a, a two by four. Two by four. This is two by four. Here, all solid two two by four. These steps are solid two by four. Every single piece of this step is a two by four uh, lawaan, not mahogany, but lawaan, which is a lighter weight uh, but very good marine wood. So anyway, we got those steps made, and we'll go uh, get some more <laughs> rope, and we'll be back with more from my paradise on the Dian Island. Bye. Ooh, zoom in. Let's see if we can zoom in. See if it looks fancier. A lot of grass, huh? Not the old ocean. Oh well, we'll zoom back out. Paradise out. Bye for now.